I'll keep learning TV is where we are. My name is Elama Isaac Raphael. Welcome to the show, Roots and Rhythm. Today we are going to talk about the Namugongo Shrine. Uh, when we mention that name, of course, the Ugandan matters come to our mind. Now, this is a pilgrimage site that actually holds millions of Ugandans traveling from different parts of the, the country and others from without Uganda uh, to come and celebrate the legacy of the Ugandan martyrs, and these are the Christians that were uh, that were martyred uh, in the year between 1885 to 1887, and this was uh, the story that told the state of their belief and their faith, sacrifice, and a clash between the strong African uh, religious beliefs, and then of course with the influence of the con colonialism, and then with the influence of the increasing number of Christians. Now, why are we talking about this? Let's track back to actually understand where all this came about. In uh, the 19th century, Buganda Kingdom was one of the biggest region in East Africa under the rulership of the Kawaka Mwanga. This was a man that was put under pressure by, uh, by the increasing number of Christianity, that is one, by the increasing number of the colonialists. Uh, we are talking about the Arabs, the Portuguese, and also, this was a threat to his uh, authority that he had carried within the kingdom. Now, the matters that were murdered, amongst the matters, we have one of the biggest names that everyone actually knows in Uganda here, that is Saint Joseph Balikudembe. This was a gentleman that was in the courts of the Kabaka uh, that was converted, and uh, he was the first matter to be murdered, and it led, in fact, to very many matters to be murdered. Amongst the matters that were murdered, Many were boys uh, and young men, which were actually pages in the royal kingdom. And uh, tracking back this, we actually come to find out that um, because of the religious teaching around uh, 1870s that welcomed the White Father Catholic Church and then also the Protestant Church that actually came and then started to teach uh, the new converts uh, beliefs that were contradicting all the beliefs that were actually threatening the power of the Kabaka. Uh, concerning the religious practices, uh, the deep-rooted religious practices that were actually contradicting the new faith that was being taught and uh, to the new pilgrimages. Now, ladies and gentlemen, understanding all this, we need to track back also. Um, we had talked about the pressure that was increasing at the Kabaka, and of course, he fought most to eradicate. When we talk about eradication, meaning that to do away with Christianity, because this was profounding or standing against uh, his beliefs. And when your beliefs are being profound, that means basically your authority is under threat. So he sought best to deal away with um, the converts that were actually standing strong in belief. Now, these men were tortured heroically. It was a very bad torture that uh, very many of the Christians believe that uh, it has drawn and actually impacted their faith to stand firm in what they have believed in. And uh, this attracts very many people. People who out of faith decide to trek from wherever part of the country they are from. We have people also who trek from further, uh, further places such as Kenya, Tanzania. Out of faith, they actually decide to trek on foot. And then that they find them here, which could be some days of a journey, but they move in a group of people just coming to celebrate. So as we celebrate the Uganda Matters Day, please, let us keep it in faith that this is a day that we are supposed to build our faith and remember a legacy that was put before us. Catch you up on the next episode. I remain Elama Isaac Raphael. Bye.